it sound right, boy. Hey everyone, Joel Anson here. Today we're in Las Vegas, Nevada. I'm actually just on my way to Rollin' Smoke, which is my favorite all-you-can-eat barbecue place, guys. So Rollin' Smoke, it has uh, been a longtime favorite of mine. I have been here now three times, and I definitely do not think this will be the last time. So essentially, what we got going on, guys, all-you-can-eat barbecue for 45 bucks. So Las Vegas, it's just the all-you-can-eat capital of the world, the entertainment capital of the world, and they really do not disappoint. So this is an Arkansas originating barbecue. They literally give you access to the full menu, the full menu. So it's not just like you can only choose select options. Literally, you want everything from like their beef ribs, which, you know, I mean, it was such a quality item, um, you know, exquisite item. Whether you want pork ribs, whether you want pulled pork, brisket, you want sides like coleslaw, they have corn nuggets, which are really cool. Whether you want ice cream, uh, banana pudding, um, their smoked meatloaf, which I'm going to try today because I've never had before. Um, like so many awesome things. So I'm so pumped. It's always good to have some all you can eat times in Las Vegas and roll and smoke. Actually, honestly, it might be my favorite all you can eat I've tried in Las Vegas. Just being, I love barbecue, it's quality barbecue. And honestly, to the past, it has actually been my favorite beef ribs I think I've ever had. So let's go have some fun, let's eat some food. Um, it's been a couple of years since I've been back, so let's see if anything's changed. Let's see if my taste preferences have changed. Just, you know, I've had um, a bit more barbecue experience now, but nonetheless, guys, it's located right off the Las Vegas Strip. And uh, like I said, my favorite all-you-can-eat barbecue to date. So let's go have some fun, let's eat some food. Let's go test this out, and with that, Let's go eat. All right, we're here with an absolute huge pile, pile, pile of food, and I'm so excited. So you guys know I have history of this place. I absolutely love it. I love it, love it, love it, love it. So what I have in front of me today, I have a whole bunch of their baby back ribs. Yes, the baby back ribs. I have some of their lovely burnt ends. I'm gonna try one of these right now. Oh my gosh. Woo, too, too, too good. Oh, even better than I remember. We have some of their rib tips. I have a full rack, it's a full order of their beef ribs, guys. Just look at these. These are absolutely humongous, these are giant. Then I have some of their fatty brisket back here, everybody. So this is an absolutely massive plate. Again, the crazy thing with the all you can eat is it's literally all you can eat. You can like order as much of this as you want, which is just so absurd. This place processes over 2,000 pounds of meat a day. Yes, 2,000 pounds, can you believe it? Because I, I, like it's nuts, nuts to think about that. Then we have, I have some of their catfish. This is a delicious catfish. Hot sauce, tartar sauce. And they also got their smoked meatloaf. This is a smoked meatloaf. They're very famous for this. They actually were featured on like the Food Network and everything with this. It is served on top of their uh, mashed potatoes. Then I have some of their chipotle coleslaw. So I'm pumped. Let's get eating. And uh, yeah, I'm just like, guys, I love barbecue. And when you're in Las Vegas, this is literally, I think, probably my favorite all you can eat. Just they have everything you could imagine if you're a meat lover. Like it is barbecue, it's delicious barbecue. They have so many different sides, they have dessert included. It is just nuts. And uh, all for 45 bucks, which is like half the price of the Bacchanal. So just saying, if you're a meat lover, roll and smoke. Let us dive on in. I'm probably gonna start with a bite of this coleslaw because this is all rich. This is so rich. Chipotle coleslaw, everybody. Great flavor. Mm. All right. Great place to start. Now let's open some of this meat, guys. I am like, I say, guys, I am so excited. These are legitimately maybe my favorite beef ribs in the world. They just, just look at that. They just fell off the bone. That is absolutely insane. Huge. So. Without further ado, guys, the moment of truth. Check this bite out. Let us eat. Oh my gosh. Words cannot describe. So smoky, so meaty, so tender. Look at me just rip that.
everybody. That is just amazing. I'm just adjusting this light here. You really cannot beat that. That is just beyond phenomenal. Prop that up using that bone. So, so, so good, everybody. Just. Mm. By far, like I said, my favorite beef rib I think I've ever, ever, ever had in the, in the, in the world. Like, ever. So good. Roll and smoke. I also have all their sauces beside me. I don't know if we'll actually, we'll probably be busting some. They're really, really good for my recollection. It's so meaty, so rich. Like I said, the fact that this is all you can eat. Guys, this is like, like this first order would have been, I think, 150 bucks. But all you can eat, guys, one price. Absolutely insane. I'm gonna try this um, smoked meatloaf. This is something I've actually never had before, but I've had their smoked burger. And their smoked burger is very, very delicious. Mmm. Oh, wow. Woo! Look at these crispy fried onion straws on top. I'm gonna move them to show you the meatloaf. So, the flavors I'm really getting in there are like, I really get like a nice jalapeno. I think there's corn in there, it's like a really nice sweetness. It is rich, but it's just like, it's like so tender. Onions. It is, that is so good. Super impressed. I'll try some with the mashed potatoes. Oh. Mm. Good mashed potato. Again, very rich guys, but like, it is just perfect. Let's try some of this catfish, guys. I really like the catfish last time. I remember it had a great breading on it. It was just, oh yeah, look at this. Tender, tender catfish. Mm. Good crunch on it too. Mm. A little overexposed, but you know what? There's actually really nice spice to that. Like, try some hot sauce. Mmm. Woo! Oh my god. Praise Jesus, hallelujah, guys. Whoever wanted to deep fried catfish in cornmeal with seasonings and throw some Louisiana style hot sauce. Man. That is a match made in heaven. I think I'd come here and just eat straight catfish. I'll try with some of the tartar sauce. Woo! Really nice zest to it. Oh man, that hot sauce and catfish. Guys. That is too good. Oh my lord. That is, oh man. Up north, you could not get catfish. It's just impossible to find. And this was absolutely phenomenal. Like, just the crisp, that hot sauce, guys. Absolutely delicious. I have some fried onions left from the, the uh, uh, meatloaf. I'm, I'm gonna leave them. I'm gonna focus more on these meats, guys. This is just, this is, this is where the real fun is. And, uh, whew. And that catfish, though, don't sleep on the catfish. That is phenomenal. Mm. Baby back pork rib. Fall off the bone. No, baby back compared to like a Louis style rib. 
a bit more softer, generally a little bit more tender. Not as heavy as a meaty flavor. But man, nice level of smoke, they smoke with hickory. Great fat content. And very, very delicious. Try a rib tip while I'm at it. It is cooked well. I got a little less smoke on it than I do the uh, like the baby bats, which I love a heavy smoke. Heavy smoke is definitely my my style of barbecue. I might bust out some sauce. Here's their original Arkansas. Woo, drippy. Oh yeah. I'd really compare their sauce to kind of like a, uh, kind of like a red sauce you might get in like Texas or something. And then they have these burnt ends. Mm. Woo! Guys, that is better than I remember. Their burnt ends, they already come sauced. Super delicious. I'm gonna grab some uh, other mustard sauce. It's called Sweet Country Girl. I think this will go well with the uh, the rib tip. Nice combo. Pork and mustard sauce. All right, one thing I haven't tried yet is their brisket. So brisket is definitely one of my favorite items, guys. I love brisket. We went with the fatty, so just look at that. Look at this beautiful, fatty brisket. It is here. Let's, let's show you this, guys. Look at this texture. Look at this, just perfect, fall apart. The fat looks perfectly rendered. They did put a little bit of sauce on it, but I don't think it's gonna need it. Mm. Woo! Mm. Everyone. Oh man. Guys, the flavor on that. That smoke. That is cooked perfectly. It's literally just so tender. It's fall apart. But it still has texture. It's not like pudding. Enable to serve this to you chopped or sliced. I went with sliced. In fact, I'd even go out and say that the brisket is better than I remember. I remember it being good. I don't remember anything ever being bad. But guys, this today, this is just fire. I mean, it has been like two years since I've been here. And I've had a lot of barbecue sets. And I gotta say, even compared to like the best barbecue joints, you know, the best barbecue joints in the world, even in Texas, guys, this really stands up. It really is still one of my favorite barbecue joints ever. And I think, I think it's, yeah, it's my favorite all you can eat barbecue. It really is. I mean, Las Vegas. Entertainment capital, buffet capital, all you can eat capital in the world. I'll probably focus on these burnt ends a little more. Mm. Woo! Guys, you know these. 
these are phenomenal. These are absolutely better than I remember. God is good, everybody. God is good. I'll tell you that much. Woo. I tell you, I'm filling up already. This is some delicious, but heavy, heavy, heavy barbecue. I also already ate today, to be honest, but while I was here, I'm in Vegas, I couldn't pass up the opportunity to stop on by. Like I said, one of my favorite places I've been, every time I've been in Vegas, and well worth it. Got another rib tip here. It's a good thing they have napkins right on the table. You definitely need them. But with barbecue, if you ain't getting messy, you probably aren't enjoying it. Got a whole bunch of peppers and pickles. Good way to cut some of that richness. Mm. That one is spicy. Because this stuff is rich. You will be, you will be wanting some, a little something, something. Giant fall off the bone beef ribs, just craziness. Just so insane. Just look at this, guys. That is just pure, beautiful, like meat. It's, oh man, and it just rips. Look at that. Guys, we're in heaven. People always say something like, you know, get somebody that looks at you the way Joel looks at barbecue and you should get it. If something makes you smile, it is easy on your life, stick with it guys. Roll and smoke, just stick with this. My favorite. All right, went and got some more of that iced tea. Delicious stuff. Like I said, I do have all the different sauces here. This is a spicy one. I'm gonna try the spicy one. I think they're vinegar sauce. Ooh, I do like to make good vinegar sauce. Mm. A little bit of heat in that barbecue sauce, but you do have that sweetness. Definitely get that. Definitely filling up, guys. This is like this is a lot of food. Like I said, I actually already ate lunch before this, but I had to stop up by my favorite place. So I'm probably gonna pick at this a bit more, and then maybe get a couple more items. Already, I've got my money's worth though. Like, like I said, the fact that you can do all you can eat for forty-five dollars is insane. I didn't even dig into all their sides. They have some really good cornbread. They have a thing called corn nuggets. Corn nuggets are really good. If you're not familiar, it's like a, maybe a little bit like a jalapeno popper in a way, but it's like a cream corn on the inside. And I remember they have one of the best banana puddings ever. So we're definitely gonna have to grab some of that. Ooh. Oh, guys, just like that fat. That rendered fat. Apple cider vinegar. That acidity, I'd say, that cuts it. That's a really nice addition when you start to get the meat sweats.
Again, one last time, just look at that. Look at the beautifulness of that rib. Man, these things just glisten and shine. Fall off the bone. Woo wee! Too, too, too good. And it's still textured, guys. And yet it is so rich and so moist. That was such a fatty bite. It's that fat that's on here, guys. That stuff is just like, woo! Man, you feel it, but it is so rich. It's so delicious. Amazing. I literally think I might need a wheelchair to get out of here, guys. I need to be rolled out of here. All right, I'll finish up this rib. Let's go order a couple more items. I'm gonna go start on that now, so that by the time we're done this, uh, it'll be ready. We'll have our next order. So, woo, meat sweats kicking in, but I'm pumped, guys. So let's keep going. Hi everyone, so I've got a few more items, just a couple. I am, like I said, I ate lunch already. Uh, it was, everything's so delicious. This food is so heavy, and I mean, we had something like six pounds of meat or something ridiculous on that first platter, five or six pounds, I kind of forget now. Uh, but it was so, 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 so good. What I do have here, guys, so yes, I, I got some normal items, but I did get some dessert. I got an ice cream sundae, because, I mean, ice cream, hard to go wrong. And I got their banana pudding, guys. This is a delicious banana pudding. I remember this being one of my favorite banana puddings of all time. Nilla wafers, so rich, so creamy. Um, I did have to get some more of the burnt ends. I got some of their corn nuggets. I mentioned these earlier. I'll show you what this is. There's like a little deep fried pocket, cream corn in there. If you ever have one, really need to try. These are really hot. I did get another piece of this catfish, it's a huge one. Got some more of the hot sauce with it. And in addition, I think I said the bird ends already. They actually said, hey, have you tried our club wrap? So it's a hidden gem. So I have a club wrap here. Um, it smells good. I mean, it smells like smoked meat. I smell a grilled tortilla. So, I'll give this a couple bites. Woo, I tell you, we are filling up though, guys. Definitely filling up. But, I'll try this club wrap to start. At least just try a bite. It smells fantastic, so. And I've, it's one of the asks, have you tried everything on the menu? And I was like, in some variation or other, probably. Wow. Mm. Okay. First time I have this wrap, guys. Guys, the bacon in there. That smoked meat. Woo! The crisp, like tomatoes, veggies. Mm. Super delicious. All right. I don't really know what to expect for a club wrap. But that is fire. Straight fire. I'm really impressed, actually. Oh, boy. Guys, I'm filling up, though. I'll tell you that much. Ooh. Oh. So good. Thanks have been awesome, but I've eaten so much food the last few days, everybody. But I had to come by and make room for the rolling smoke. Again, literally, I think my favorite all you can eat in Las Vegas. Got some more of that delicious catfish, that hot sauce combo. Perfection. Hot. Don't let that cool down, but. Ooh. I think I might have lost my fork, so I'll just hand some of these burn ends. Oh man. Guys, so good. When I am dying, I'm getting like the meat sweats, meat, like meat, what a food drunk they call it. Woo! Oh boy. I might have to tap out. My uh, my eyes are bigger than my than my stomach is. Corn nuggets. These ones are giant. But like I said, really cool cream corn. 
Another deep fried batter. Soft, crispy. It's very sweet, kind of like the cornbread. Amazing. Right, I'm so full. I'm gonna put that aside for a second. Oh, maybe I can get some get some revitalization after dessert. Let's try some of this. Uh, try some ice cream whipped cream chocolate sauce real quick. I mean, hard to go wrong. Ooh, wow. That is a rich, rich whipped topping on there. So good though. Nice and sweet. I tell you, I feel better already. That was exactly what I needed. Is that over, it's a little overexposed, but there you go, guys. Oh yeah, that little something sweet. Woo, that is what I needed. I tell you, so much savory, you know. Mm. Ooh, that is good. And the crazy thing, like I said, this is included in all you can eat, so I get dessert and a meal. On this banana pudding, which I remember being very, very delicious. So, again, we got that whipped on top, we got those vanilla wafers. This is real, real, real rich looking. Oh my lord. Woo -wee. There you go, guys. Real banana chunks in there. Just like I remember. It is layered as well. See so the layers of Miller wafers. Oh man, that is good. That is good. Well, that everybody. That was awesome. Better than I remembered. This is my third time here and third time to charm, guys. It keeps getting better and better. So I want to give a huge thanks to all the staff here. That was absolutely exceptional. Rolling smoke, guys. The staff are fantastic. The food is fantastic. I got no complaints. I got nothing but good things to say about this place. So looking for delicious barbecue in Las Vegas, whether an all you can eat or a LA cart, just like per order experience. Definitely would recommend. I loved it here. This was amazing. My favorite items of today were definitely those beef ribs. Those are fantastic. The catfish was bomb, and those burnt ends were all way better than I remember. So it keeps getting better and better. And that banana pudding, hard to finish off with, without the banana pudding. Um, so that everyone, if you enjoyed today's video, let me know down below. I always appreciate you liking, commenting, subscribing. Share with your friends. And like I said, come by, tell them you saw some guy eat way too much barbecue, and that what was brought you in. And, and that everyone, that's about it. So of course, until next time, say happy other hungry, happy eating. And uh, let me know if you'd like a bite of this catfish. Maybe a bite of one of these delicious looking bird ends. Maybe this succulent banana pudding. And with that, guys, like I said, I appreciate you. Thanks, you've been awesome. And until next time, everybody, have a lovely day. Hey everyone, so guess where we are? We are in a very special place. We're at a place called the Swap Meet in North Las Vegas. This is basically like a big mercado, like very Hispanic, Mexican. We have everything from like, you want your jeans, you want your toys, then they have mad food sections, they got your hats, they have your boots, they have everything you can ever imagine. Uh, here with good friend, we got Mr. JC. We got Faith and CJ, so we are just here checking this out. They said this is a must-stop place, and it really seems really cool. Like, yeah, I mean, you want your uh, even their your hygiene products. Like I said, this literally feels like I'm straight in Mexico right now, like an authentic mercado. So I'm pumped. Like, even if you want your plates, they got everything. Like it's all the Mexican candies. They have De La Rosa. They have the uh, tamarindos. They got everything. So or the pulperino thing. So. Yeah, let's uh, let's check this out and let's have some fun. This is so cool. Um, it's open on Friday nights like it is right now. This is super cool. Like I said, giant market, North Las Vegas. I think this is definitely a, a hidden treat. So let's have a peek at what they all got. <laughs> got boots. Here we're getting some food. Some live music. 
We got we got some dancing going on. We have some concert band. I like it. So they have all your favorites, like your agua frescas. Big, big, big wave for these micheladas, guys. If you're not familiar, michelada is a beer and basically clamato slash tomato mix. Every person in this place has a michelada. There you go, see all the people with them? This is one of the big highlights here, so we definitely gotta, well, I'm not gonna get one, but JC is gonna get a michelada. I'm gonna get one, I'm gonna buy one for you. We're I, I'm not, I, I'll, I'll, I'll taste yours, I'll taste yours. I love, right. they're, they're, I'm not a, not a big alcohol person, but this is definitely the place to get one, I would say. And they really, really do have everything you could ever want. Like, you want some funnel cakes? They have funnel cakes. You want some candies and, uh, again, like peanuts and stuff? They have that. They have sushi. They have, uh, what do I got? We got enchiladas. We got tacos. We got everything. It is super, super expansive and very impressive. I'm impressed. This is, I'm surprised I haven't heard about this place before. I think this is a must stop in Las Vegas. I mean, you know, literally. Here we got some uh, Tapatillo's place, selling tacos, burritos. That is pupusas, so Ecuadorian. We got everything, guys. Absolutely everything. You can buy your cocos, your cocos fríos. I, I do like the coconuts. Again, just like all kinds of uh, fruit drinks. Here they have like the Michelada thingy things, potatoes, waffle fries, hash browns, deep fried papas, potatoes. Crazy. Here we are at Carnitas. Apparently these are the best tacos here, so we're gonna try uh, some different kinds. Uh, we're gonna try the pork skin, as per JC. A stomach is per JC, and I got a, uh, just plain carnitas, the carne, just the meat, which is right there. Chop it up. So here he is getting the skins. So those who want the skins, it is a very rich, fatty carnitas, like a roasted pork that's pure oil. And then obviously they deck it out to your preference. So here's ours, there is the uh, skin, here is the stomach, so it definitely looks nice and this is meaty that is very fatty right there i'll tell you that much all right everyone so believe it or not this is a taco <laughs> i just filled the plate with uh, so much jalapenos and onion savoya and look at these guys these look awesome so we're gonna go try them somewhere all right so this is the pig skin taco gotta give it a try soft, very rich, it's good. This is what my uh, my taco looks like. It is a uh, very full um, chili habanero salsa and everything, so I'm gonna try to bite this. Tastes like carnitas, no complaints. How's the tacos, my friend? Amazing. Amazing. And this is the uh, pork stomach. Let's try this. Wow, that is not what I expected. It is super rich, super soft. It still has texture. That's delicious. Dude, I think that's 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 really good. Well, I'm, I do. That, I'm super impressed. The skin is just very like soft. This still has texture, but it's so rich. Even that rich is, I thought the skin would be richer, but fantastic. Good taco. So now that we're done our food, we're heading out. We got again lots of clothes, so you don't need pants or anything. They got everything you can need or want. They have your phone accessories. So if you want a photo op with some macaws, they got them. They got them here. Cost you ten bucks. Here we got dates, tamarind chamoy. We got mangoes and tahini. We got all the candies, everybody. 
We have some huge, huge, huge jalapenos. Half ripe too, so it'd be nice and sweet. Tomatillos and some little chilies, so Thai chilies. Oh man, there is a big bag of red chili peppers, that is for sure. Again, like clothing, jewelry. They also have some rides here. Chop the coconut up, they threw in some sandia, some watermelon, some melon, and some uh, uh, jamaica. Now you can add your like chamoy, your tahini, and your lemon juice, even hot sauce, and a tapatio. What are you gonna do, my friend? I'm doing this. Some tahini. Sure. Yeah, good call. Very delicious. I can't believe Here's a big band shirt, TV show shirt place. Absolutely huge. They had fridges over here, which was insane fridges and kitchen stuff. We got JC with his bag of coconut and watermelon and melons and everything. It's so good, I don't think I can finish it off. It is really good with the mix of the tahini and the uh, the uh, hot sauce and everything. Just look at that in there, guys. Just a delicious bag of sweet, salty, savory, and yummy.